I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 11 in my book, Fishing the Bucktail, and the book covers bucktailing for a variety of species, from surf, kayak, and boat. The rig here is a 3-ounce blue frog bucktail at the bottom, and one foot above that, a 5-inch Berkeley Gulp Alive swimming mullet on a 3 Gamagatsu bait holder hook and a Tsunami hollow teaser. So this is a deep water ocean jigging trip for Big Fluke. We're fishing 80 to 85 feet of water. Actually a party boat trip. The boat is the Hampton Lady out of Shinnecock Inlet in Hampton Bays, New York. I'm using rapid vertical jigging. Uh, the rig is very similar to what I use in many of my other videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's a touch heavier. In this case, I'm using a Tsunami Airwave 6.5 footer rated for 15 to 25 pound test line. Uh, the line is 20 pound test spider wire stealth. Normally when I'm inshore, I'm using a rod that's rated 10 to 20 pound line and I'm using 15 pound test braid. So I'm going a little bit heavier for this trip because of the depth and the need to use a heavier bucktail. And the reel is the same quantum accuracy that I use for all of my inshore jigging. Alright, in this trip we're fishing a five fish uh, bag limit and uh, that's my first one of the trip so uh, four more to go here to go for a limit and that's a, a good size fluke it's a decent one uh, we're gonna do better all right we've got relatively calm conditions here about a five to ten knot wind two foot seas and it's uh, these calmish conditions that allow one to use what's relatively light tackle here uh, going to uh, three ounce bucktail, 20 pound braid in this kind of water, 80 to 85 feet. Uh, if the wind was blowing, we had a faster drift. A lot of times out in these waters, you have to uh, use heavier gear and go up six, eight, ten ounces of lead to stay down. But uh, this is a nice day, and uh, you know, I can definitely use the lighter gear, which is very much to my liking because I like that fast, rapid vertical jigging. It really gets the attention of the fluke, and the fluke are also called flounder in many parts of the country. So you'll see I'm pumping the rod to bring this fish up. Uh, a lot of times the, the mate will tell you, no, don't pump the rod, just real steady. But uh, this is a pretty small reel. It's actually high gear ratio, like 7 uh, to 1. And I, I can't just rely on the gears of the reel to winch these fish up from the deep water. So I'm relying on the power of the rod to gain the line and get it back on the reel. Now, as long as you keep a bend in the rod and don't introduce any slack in the line, uh, there should be no fear of the hook backing out and losing the fish. So that's a nice one. That's what we came out here for. And there's a still picture of that fish. So on the hook that's one foot above the bucktail is a gulp five inch swimming mullet. But on the jig itself is a strip of meat and uh, it's about six to seven inches. And that can be like anything. It could be bluefish strip, sea robin, or uh, the fins on the side of a fluke when you fillet it. But the only thing is if you do that in New York waters, if you use those fin strips from a fluke, uh, you need to keep the carcass on board in case uh, the DEC checks. Uh, they need to make sure that those strips came from a legal size fluke. So the boat provided all kinds of nice bait. They had squid and spearing, really high quality looking stuff, and uh, some meat strips of varying kinds. And uh, what I did was I stayed away from the squid and the spearing because um, there's quite a few sea bass around, and you know, sea bass are great eating, but on this trip I was very focused on the fluke and I didn't want to spend time uh, winching up the uh, the sea bass from the deep water so I, I stayed away from those baits but guys who wanted to target the sea bass uh, did quite well with the squid and the spearing and a lot of the sea bass were shorts but they definitely had some nice ones as well and something I did notice that guys who were dragging baits uh, right along the bottom uh, ended up catching quite a few skates but if your offering was uh, a little bit off the bottom and you jigged it then the skates weren't so much of a problem On my YouTube channel, I have a separate video that shows exactly how to tie the rig that I'm using. Uh, in this case, I'm using 25 pound test leader material. When I fish inshore, I usually fish 20 pound leader material. Maybe not. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice 
I'm dropping down at the bottom here. That's why I'm not jigging at this moment. Uh, it's a long way down. Uh, but you'll see throughout the video that I'm using very fast jigging, and I have quite a few underwater videos showing fluke reacting to uh, jigs and baits and so forth, and there's just no question that uh, they're very much attracted to motion, and uh, that's why I really like to have you know fast jigging get their attention. The other thing those underwater videos show is that when you miss a fish, they come back, and they come back every time. It's almost like they get annoyed that they didn't get it the first time. So I do not hesitate to set the hook. As soon as I feel weight on the end, uh, I'm going to try and drill that hook home. I do not care if I miss them. They're going to come back, and there he is. When you're ready, I'll need the net over here. All right, so the drag on the reel definitely needs to be good, especially fishing deep water, big fish, and a 20-pound braid is definitely on the light end for this. Um, on this fish, I've got a little extra complication. It's a party boat and a lot of lines in the water, and one of the lines from a few guys up has slid towards the back and hooked my line. So I'm a little concerned about the rubbing on the line, so I'm going to take it a little so bit easier on this fish. Line. Somebody's got to loosen up on a, on a line somewhere. All right. It's just, uh, I can't keep any. Yeah. You know what? Just leave it where it is. It's fine right where it is. Braid here, and I'm worried about the about it rubbing on there. You know. Thank you very much. Thanks for holding up there. Yeah, limit by lunchtime. This is good. Okay, as I mentioned, there's a five fish limit, and uh, so that's my limit yeah. fish, and even got it before yeah, lunchtime. So uh, just just a real good trip. And uh, yeah, this is an excellent boat, the Hampton Lady, a fantastic crew, and uh, a real nice clientele, and it just made for a, a great trip, wonderful day. And there's a still picture of that last fish. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.